there was a lot of things to deal with the flood and this does act as a control mechanism uh, protecting the lagoon. Calgary's Inglewood Bird Sanctuary has received some major upgrades. After years of wear and tear and getting hit hard during the 2013 floods, the park now plays a key role in the city's flood mitigation projects, all while creating more space for wildlife. I thought it was fascinating and really important that the lagoon was stagnant, um, you know, not supporting a lot of wildlife. Um, the birds were coming, but there weren't many fish and things. Tim Knowles worked on the project for three years, helping design how to reconnect the sediment-filled lagoon with the Bow River, creating a path for fish to pass through the area and taking some of the flood pressure off of the Bow River. We chose the path that would take out the least number of trees uh, to sa save as many trees as possible. Along this new pedestrian bridge, you'll see beams like this. Every one of these beams was taken from a tree that had to be cut during the construction process. With the city of Calgary saying that every tree that was impacted during construction has since been put back into the project. The idea creating this kind of log jam. So you've got this this mixture of these sort of logs piled around like a log jam um, and then this highly machined uh, timber. Excavations began in spring of 2022, but the team took various pauses to work with the wildlife, like halting excavations mid-May to mid-August to give space to birds during their nesting season. The city estimating the upgrades have almost doubled the habitat area for animals like bank swallows, a species at risk. There's two outlets down at the south end of the sanctuary, so there's one that's flowing all the time, like 99% all the time, and then the second outlet is designed for those flood events. Total cost for the habitat support and flood reduction was just under $10 million, with the city providing $9 million and the province and feds contributing just over $700,000. In Calgary, Jillian Code, City News.